Assalamu alaikum students, it's grade 6 and it's social studies class. Now we are going to start at chapter number 16, that is early Pakistan. Means we are going to know about the history of Pakistan. So at the end of this class, students will be able to know more about early Pakistan civilization. They would be able to know about Indus Valley civilization, that is very famous civilization. Discuss the lifestyle of people who were living over there at that time. Get knowledge about their infrastructure, that which type of houses they were building over there, which type of towns and cities were there. Know the reasons of decline of Indus Valley civilization. In this way, civilization. In the early history of Pakistan, we will discuss a very famous civilization that was in this way civilization. This civilization was on near the Indus River, and from these pictures, you may have the idea of the people of the area. These are all the remains of this civilization. First of all, we will start from history of the civilization, history of Indus Valley civilization. For thousands of years, different races have poured through Khyber and Bolan passes, especially from Central Asia into the northern part of the continent. We have discussed in detail in chapter number one about Khyber and Bolan passes. We know that Pakistan is linked with Khyber and Bolan passes to Iran and Afghanistan. Means from this we know that these people came from the area of Iran and Afghanistan, which are the dry area, which are the dry areas. So these people to, uh, came from Khyber and Bolan passes into the northern part of the continent. Now you can think that what things attract these people as they were from the dry plains. So the fertile land of these northern part of continent attract them very much. There was plenty of water. There were gold and silver minerals and forests as well. Seemed a wonderful place after the dry lands. Mainly they were coming here for following these. One of the main reasons were it, there was fertile land, plenty of water, gold and silver, forest. But on the other hand, there were also reasons that uh, they came here. They were to raid for treasure, to take prisoners for slaves, to conquer the area for settlement. These are the main reasons why these people come over there. What should people know about Indus Valley Civilization? So means, what is Indus Valley Civilization, when it gets started? Now we know that these people come from the Khyber and Bolan passes from Central Asia into the northern areas of our country. The Indus is the longest river. The Indus is the longest river in Pakistan. The Indus River begins in the Himalaya mountains and flows nearly 3,000 kilometers to the Arabian Sea. In the Sanskrit language of ancient Asia, uh, India, the Indus was called the Sindhu. A very physical feature. It's the land shaped by a river. The Indus Valley was shaped by the Indus River. So this civilization start in Indus River. These people start living in the areas near the Indus River. And this Indus River is from where it comes. It comes from the Himalaya mountains. The Indus Valley Civilization was a Bronze Age Civilization. Which civilization, Bronze Age Civilization, which started in 
mainly it started the peak time of this civilization was 2600 to 1900 BCE before common era. It was located in the western region of South Asia and spread over what are now Pakistan, Northwest India means in Delhi, and Eastern Afghanistan as well. Okay, now you know that this Indus Valley starts in 2600 to 1900 BCE before Common Era and it spread all over in Pakistan, some area of India and in the Eastern Afghanistan. In this civilization, we discuss about two main cities. Two main cities which were found were Manjadora and Harappa. As well as hundreds of villages have been discovered in 1921. Means this discovery started in 1921 and then they find hundreds of villages, but one of them, two villages were very famous. Two cities were very famous. One was Manjadoro and the second one was Harappa. These are the main civilizations which are present in Pakistan. People populating these villages were called Dravidians. They seemed to be more civilized than any other people in the world at that time. At the time, there was not only one civilization of Indus Valley, but there were also three more civilizations as well. But this civilization was considered to be more civilized as compared to other civilization. What was the reason behind this? We will discuss in detail. Why do historians call it the most advanced civilization of that era? The reason for this was that the remains of these civilization shows us that these were the very civilized people. These were the very civilized people. How they have, I mean, they were building their houses, what was their lifestyle. The remains of this civilization shows us all about them. The earliest traces of civilization in the Indian subcontinent are to be found in places along or close to the Indus River. We know, we have discussed it before. Excavations first conducted in 1921 to 22. This civilization was about 4,500 uh, 4, and to 5,000 years ago, but the discovery started in 1921 in the ancient cities of Harappa and Manjadoro. Both now in Pakistan pointed to a highly complex civilization that first developed some 4,500 4, to 5,000 years ago. In subsequent archaeological and historical research has now furnished us with a more detailed picture of the Indus Valley civilization and its inhabitants. Now we know that this civilization was about 5,000 years ago and its discovery started in 1921. It was close to the Indus River and the main information which we got from uh, about this civilization, they come from two main cities, Harappa and Manjadoro, both are present in Pakistan. Manjadoro. Manjadoro, it was about seven kilometers all around. This city was about seven kilometers all around. This is the aerial view of Manjadoro. You can see with its main street nine meter wide, it was having wide streets. Between these ran smaller streets. In these big streets, main street, there were smaller streets, often with Z bends in them. Z bends in them. Now, this question comes in your mind, why the Z bends? Can you think any reason why these roads have sharp corner in them? Means zigzag streets. The zigzag streets were thought to minimize the effect of winds which funnel along them. Yes, students, this was a whole class. And if there are any if there is any question, you can ask me. 
in the next class we will discuss more about the people who were living in mohenjo-daro and harappa what was their lifestyle what was their living their food their clothing we will discuss all about this in our next class till now if there is any question you can do contact with me thank you students